license of God is so sensitive that if you mess it up, you are messing your life. How are you wish that hosting the presence of God will become my culture? There is a, a ministry we are launching within this ministry. It is called Take Me Back to the Place of Worship. We shall be here on Saturday, 31st of November. And the Sunday in the main service on the 1st of December. When Bishop Justin Sakwa will be launching that ministry. Take me back to the place of worship. A place where. Sikuwa kanya ni nani ya menigwaza. Sikuwa kanya ni nani ya menidarao. Ni nani ya nanichukia. Sikuwa kanya sina gari. Sina kazi. Sina pesa. But whenever it is on the Sabbath of the Lord. You will find me in the presence of God. Wakati mungine ya tuku kuwa na pesa. Wakati mungine ni nyanya, shoshonge, noga, shampani. Ana niweka kwa mikono. Ana kuambia peleka kanisani. Una mabia shushu hajaiva. Ana kuambia peleka ivie kanisani. Because they understood one thing. A best on the tronomy. Do not appear before the Lord empty handed. There was something about the presence of the Lord that needed to be fertilized by giving. Don't wait till you have 1,000. You can come with the 50 shillings. You can come with whatever God has put in your hands. Sometimes it could not be money. But sometimes in Nguo Mebeba later up it has idea mutu. Watoto wako up. We shall be launching that ministry in this place. Take me to that place. Where I didn't have these adjectives I have. I didn't have this English I have. I didn't have this good Swahili I have. Like in the end of the Mungu Kulia too. Watoto wanku wana pata afia. Wakati mungine. Atuku kuwa na pesa. Atuku kuwa na viakula vizuri. But wakati tulikuwa na jigas. Tumekula na jigas. Tuna survive na chakula ina moja. Lipoka na ugali. Asubuye mchana jioni. Tuna badalisha na mahala nje ya busa. Iso no vitu tulisi na vyo. Like in the end of the month manaktari wanatoka Nairobi wanakuja nyumbani wanachukua damu kwa sisi watoto maskini katika mashule tunatonete blood we are able to do what wale wanakula vizuri hawangefanya because we learned the secret and the secret was hosting God mandiko ya naniambia ya kwa mana yesu wakiwa katika nyumba ya moja wapu ya wapendwa akiudumia watu wa familia hiyo na nyumba kukaja kijinji chote kikakuja boma lila kaja bibli nasema na kungine around that vicinity kulikuwa na kejana aliekuwa mgonjwa wenzake wakaangalia wakasema huyu kitabo tuwene tuite yesu huyu watakufa mandiko ya kasema wakambeba wakasema let us in this young man let us tumbebe huyo mkonjwa since ya tuitaji kuambia yesu ni nina nini we need to drop him in the presence where jesus is we don't need the protocol we don't need the opinion we don't need this information we don't need this order our objective is to drop him in the presence of god kana sema walipofika wakapata ya kwamba ubati wa watu ulikuwa mwingi wakazoiliwa kuingia the bible says wakapomoa pala ile nyumba wakapomoa nisha pa there has got to be a way by which there something has to work wakasema kama tutahukumiwa ni sawa kama tutachukuliwa makosa ni sawa kama tutadharauliwa ni sawa kama tutafatiliwa baadaye ni sawa but our objective is to make sure huyo mgonjwa atumbukizwe mahali Yesu alipo because they understood one thing the presence of Jesus signified the presence of the heavens themselves hatujali kama tavujika mgongo hatujali kama tangu kapa umie mku hatujali ni nani atakuwa na ongoza ibada hatujali tiko natakuwa nani atakuwa kama mwile pasa na nebarikiki ya mapana kama ni kiongozu wa wazana nebarikiki ya mapana kama yula na imba na nebarikiki ya mapana I don't care kama kibodi sana nebarikiki ya mapana mimi I don't care what the apostle has put in place as far as the program is concerned I must not as I am a son of God I am going to the house of God David and a 
understood this secret and that's why he says i was happy when they told me let's get to the house of god i just want to be in the presence stay in the presence it was in the presence of the lord when epilepsy was taken out of my life it was in the presence of the lord when the curse of the marriage dropouts in my family was broken over me it was in the presence of the lord and when my life got the shape when i was restructured it was in the presence of the lord when the lord turned me into a well and from which the nations are coming to bring up how i wish you desire to be in the presence of the lord Mimi bwana Mungu wako na vyote vilivyo ndani mwako Ukiwa naye Mungu hakuna kisichowezekana ndani mwake Hata badili